at 8.30, we're at Southern Mississippi. Started season 1-0. Traveling to number four, Florida State. Also started season 1-0. That was arguably a more impressive one. Uh, Florida State favored by 31 on the ACC Network. Billy Wiles for the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles uh, went 21-28, to threw for 267 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. Good game for him. Rodriguez Clark, weirdly enough, not Frank Gore Jr., was a leading rusher. Nine carries for 54 yards. And Jacarius Caston had five catches for 104 yards and touchdown. Now let's talk about Florida State football because they played a hell of a game against LSU. They won, and they won handily against an LSU team that was beating them at halftime. And a lot of that is because of this guy. Jordan Travis should be a Heisman contender. Went 23-31 for 342 yards, four touchdowns. The one interception was bad because he threw it straight to an LSU corner on a wide receiver screen that he already pump faked. So he knew the guy was there, and he still threw that pass. That was not great. But Jordan Travis is still the reason why you're doing so well in this football game. Trey Benson has all the game on the ground, 12 carries, 47 yards. No one's going to be crying, writing home about it. Averaged less than four yards per carry. Still a good game. Keon Coleman was the star of this football game. He got three of Jordan Travis's four touchdown passes. He had nine catches for 122 yards. He was a star. He was a stud. He was a star. He was a crazy great football player in this one. Florida State leads the series all time. Weirdly enough, it's somewhat close, 14 to 8. Last two games have gone to Florida State from in 1996 and 2017. How is this series close? But Florida State's should and could could they should dominate this one, right? Like Florida State's the much better football team. The Seminoles are a really good program now uh, under Mike Norvell's era. Jordan Travis is great. This is a team that should be competing for a playoff spot with their ACC schedule. They have Clemson coming up. That should be a tough game. They eventually have Duke. That should be a tough game. And Pitt's going to contend with them at the end of the year. And then you got to think that you'd likely draw UNC, considering UNC doesn't have to play you. So you got four tough games remaining. But if you can beat those four tough ones, or at least win three of them, you're in the playoffs if you're a Seminole fan. And you got to be excited about that if you're a Florida State fan. Uh, give me Florida State to win and cover the 31-point spread.